So you click the video and you say, hey, what do you mean by I'm scared of Minecraft? It's not a scary game. And you're right, it's not really a scary game. But when I say I'm scared of Minecraft, what I really mean is I'm scared of creating content for Minecraft. And then again, you go, hey, well, there's so many people that do Minecraft content. What's so scary about it? And let me explain. I was growing up, Minecraft was obviously released when I was probably in my young teens. And at that point, it was seen as more of a kid's game. It's a joke, it's pixels, it's blocks. I was in the phase of Xbox 360, Call of Duty, those types of games. So it was a very clear distinction between Minecraft and mature-esque types of games, and I never really got into it, original release. Time goes by, I get older and older, and I realize there's a certain genre type that I really enjoy as I've phased out of the shooter aspect and noticed. I really like survival crafters, right? That's Minecraft's bread and butter. But I, once again, was adverse to actually picking up Minecraft and playing games like Terraria, for example, which I found a lot more enjoyable but I'm still beating around the bush here, right? What makes me scared of Minecraft over those others? And I'll be honest, it's being a noob and not knowing a lot in a community that knows a ton. It's been out for 10 plus years. There's so much information that exists just as known knowledge that I don't know. So I'm afraid to make content, do something for my enjoyment and realize that, hey, I'm gonna get flamed in the comments. And I have a good perspective on this because I still to this day play old school RuneScape, which is in a similar vein of the fact that it's a game that I grew up playing as a young kid for years and years and years. And it's something that if someone were to start new there and they would do something, it would be hard for me to be like, why didn't you do it this way? That's the most efficient way. Or don't you know that's the correct way to do it? What you did wasn't the correct way. And I, get that but then i started playing the game without really using any guides and looking thing up and truly figuring out and that's when i had a lot more fun with all the historical context of why i feel the way i do i've then spent the last week or two really thinking about okay if i'm going to commit to doing youtube and twitch what do i want to be what do i want to do and enjoy and i've chased the trends i've thought about how do i make something that's trendy for the last two months and it's just not fun. And I'm no extraordinary builder. I have no creative bone in my body. I'm no redstone engineer either. I truly am just a average Minecraft at best player. So I don't really bring a lot to the table when it comes to uniqueness or creativity on YouTube. What is fun is going in and just doing whatever I wanna do for the sake of curiosity. So. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to get over my fear of posting content and I'm going to make content that has probably been made thousands and thousands of times. I'm going to do the same ideas and concepts that others have done again and again and again. But the only difference that I feel is I'm not doing it for a trend. I'm not doing it for the views. I'm doing it for myself and I'm feeling more authentic about the approach. If I don't feel like I'm having fun, I'm not going to do it. And sure, it might not be successful, but that's okay. As long as I, one, continue to feel like I'm having fun doing this and making this type of content, and two, remaining consistent and not feeling like it has become too overwhelming of a time sink, that I can't balance my regular life around it, then it's not worth it. So consider this like, an official vlog or diary of before and after uh, a pivotal moment in my creator career. I'd love to know your suggestions below in the comments if you're here to say exactly what you think would be a good idea for someone with little to no Minecraft knowledge and ideas of things and you'd like to see from a perspective of someone who's truly learning 10 years later.